Ghost is an app that empowers you with publishing a website, to send out a newsletter, publish content and offer paid subscription. Stick around if you want to see how to install it and develop a theme for it. Hi, I'm Alessandro Belli. In this channel, usually we talk about programming and technology. And today I would like to talk to you about Ghost. These are the chapters of the video. I will first introduce the idea of developing a template, then go straight into the technical part. Of course, not everything because otherwise it would be a course, but I will teach you how to get started. I consider Ghost very interesting because you can uh, develop your own theme, so to reflect your own style. And also, I really love to learn new things, which is always good, so that's why I developed a custom theme for my website. To be able to use Ghost, you need a server with Node.js. There are many different uh, installation services. For my purposes, I use uh, DigitalOcean and the cheapest uh, solution there, and you can directly go to the marketplace click on uh, search ghost, click install, then of course you have to enter the server and continue the installation by giving the domain and the, the DNS. This is a little bit complicated but I can show you a guide right here in the description. Uh, you basically need to own a domain. Uh, this costs for me 6 euro a month for the server and I pay around 15 euro for a year of the domain. Technically, Ghost uses Node.js for the engine to run and Handlebar.js for the minimal templating. Handlebar, Handlebars compiles the templates into JavaScript functions. The files uh, used in Handlebars are .hbs and you have very basic functions in there. You have um, if uh, you have uh, loops and specifically for ghosts you have posts, you have cards. Uh, one thing that I can say about ghosts that they have a very extensive documentation. Very good, you just need to search what you need and it's written everything there. What basically you need to do is to create the files that Ghost uses for their templates. For example, default.hbs, index.hbs, post.hbs and so on. For example, default.hbs contains the layout that is going to be used in every single page of the website. That goes the header, the main theme of the website, the structures where you put navigation, the menu, it's navigation.hbs and you will put it inside default.hbs according to your own taste. Index.hbs on the other hand it's the first page that you visitor will see on your website, the index page. It takes some time to understand because of course it's something that you, you don't know and you need to understand how many pages for example post.hbs, card.hbs but as soon as you read it, you look at it then you're good to go. It's um, great and it's very, as I already said, documentation is very well documented and you can find 99% of your concerns about ghosts on forums or on the guide. So the best thing about ghosts that I found out actually later is that you can set some custom fields in the backend, so in the uh, part where you manage your website when it's installed. You do that in the package.json file. There you can insert some custom fields which have this type and then you can insert them in your template. According to those fields you can show something different. For example, in my own theme, I created two main templates for the home page. One is for YouTubers. On the right, two videos on a column. You can also insert just one, which is will be vertically centered. And on the left, the description and an image. And I also made a general theme for a website, which has navigation on top, uh, header image, and description. That's it, because you know, maybe you're not a YouTuber and you don't want to use the YouTube part. How you use the custom fields in your template? You have to use the add custom dot name of the field and that in that way the handlebar 
will catch the value that you set in the backend of Ghost and then render the template according to that. Let's go a little bit more in the manual part, how I actually develop the theme. So I tested this on both Windows and Mac OS and both work. So you need to install Node.js and NPM package manager. You can find the links in the description to install those. After that, you have to go into a command line and you have to run this command to install the global Ghost CLI. You need to install the Ghost CLI with this command on a command prompt or the terminal on Mac OS. What this does is to enable you to use the ghost command on the terminal. What do you need to do is to go to the directory where you want to install ghost locally. You need to create a folder where you want to install ghost to develop the theme locally. So you navigate to the folder in the terminal in the command prompt, then you type ghost install local. This will install ghost on your local machine with Node.js and NPM. Ghost locally, you can uh, access it on ghost, two dots, 2368. I wasn't sure about saying this because on my ma Windows machine is 2369 and on my macOS is 2368. So check out that as well. But it should be 2368 for most of you. So this happens as soon as you install it. But if you want to stop it, I usually do Command C or Control C and it stops the ghost running locally. If you want to start it again, you just go into the folder and then run ghost start ghost stop ghost restart to just reboot your ghost installation one thing we talk about custom fields before to enable custom fields you need to restart your ghost otherwise it doesn't work i spent some time in this like why it doesn't work why it doesn't work yeah, maybe let's let's restart ghost after half an hour trying to figure out what was wrong there are two ways to develop a theme so the first way is to clone the starter theme that goes gives you on GitHub. You have to clone it in content slash themes. Basically, you have a repository inside your content themes, which is your ghost local installation. In this way, you can just open a code editor in that folder which you cloned and then you edit those files and you can see them already in your ghost installation which by the way you have to go in the back end and then change the apply theme that uh, you just cloned because otherwise you will have the default theme on ghost the other way is if you already have a repository on your computer you need to create a sim link on the same folder on content themes on windows is a be complicated don't ask me i have no idea i just followed a guide that is in the description you can find the link how to create a sim link in windows okay now you have your repository or the sim link in the content slash themes on your local installation i am in love with tilewind css which is a framework for cascading style sheets so how you create styles on the websites in short tilewind is a has a very intuitive syntax for example this line means that there is a margin on top of one rim 16 pixels basically now you want to install tilewind if you want first of all i use this guide another link in the description for that i will follow the instructions that are there because they work they always worked and no problem which also uh, they have just few lines of common i use yarn add tilewind css but you can use your own package manager inside there i think npm works as well so you install tilewind css inside your theme folder then you do mpx tilewind css in it you can check the installation instruction of tilewind here there are very few after you finished to uh, follow the instruction for tilewind you inserted that add tilewind in the, conf the configuration files on your css file you need to restart ghost to make the settings work the last step so how do you transfer your ghost theme from local to your website online so as i said i used digital ocean and on digital ocean i went into the marketplace installed ghost through there which is one click then you have to connect to your server and inside there the installation goes on because it asks you the domain name that it's there you need to edit some dns entries after that ghost 
uh, ask you your email for the certificate so your website is secure then you're good to go there they look maybe a bit uh, scary but they are not uh, because they are straightforward steps of course for a website you need a domain name that domain name will have a dns configuration in the back end you need to change a little bit of that and then you're good to go i installed a github action on my private repository that pushes the team directly to the back end of my website so i made a edit of my website locally i look at it locally it looks good i push it to github and automatically it's pushed to my website that's i can link the github uh, action it's very easy to install it's two minutes one thing that I can tell you locally, whenever I change the code of Tilewind or Handlebar, you need to recompile the Handlebar and the CSS. I use Gulp, Gulp with some action, and that's it. You just, you edit some stuff, you, you run Gulp dev, I think, but I also did some uh, uh, specific action for myself and that's it. You edit some things in your style or in the handlebar. You run Gulp, you wait six seconds, it's compiled, you check your website. As I already told you, uh, design themes is an aesthetic task and I could spend hours on thinking or telling you what to do, but uh, this is up to you, how you the website you want to make it look. I can tell you that I got um, inspiration from internet. I searched some Tilewind components and I didn't copy and paste, but you know how it goes. You, you, you see that you like it, you copy, you change some things, the colors, the shape, the shadow, the, the font, and then you paste it in your theme. It's, it sounds easy, but it's absolutely not easy because uh, wh where you copy it, maybe they use some different configuration files, maybe they create some custom styles, then you have to adapt it to, to your own layout. I can suggest you two great sources for these components, which are, is Tilewind UI and Flowbyte. There you can find uh, great inspiration for your own uh, website and you can find the theme that I developed on my personal website, you can find Gostelli on Gumroad, you can find also in, in, the, in this link you can see the normal layout and on my website the YouTuber layout because we are on YouTube. <laughs> If you need any help, you can hit me up on my website, on my newsletter, on Gumroad, on Twitter, uh, wherever you find my contacts, I can try to help you. I already got some uh, contacts for my Notion templates that I did. I try always to answer your questions. Um, you can, if you want to support me and buy the theme, I can offer the support to install it. So all the steps are, that I just said, I will do them for you. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching and see you the next time. Bye.